the shows, pull up in a rose, now she wanna roll. Everybody talking, but they coming to the shows. Pulling up, being on serving. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Sarfras back with you again. In this video, we are going to talk about completely about ships, especially warships. I'll be giving some information about what are the different kinds of warships being used now and the list of strongest warships ever built in this world. For all those of you who are coming here for the first time, my name is Sarfras and this channel is all about self development, interesting facts, and knowledge. Kindly hit that subscribe button for new videos every week. Let's get started now. When I was a small kid, I got a chance to visit this Chennai harbor. There was a warship stationed at that time, the INS Ranvijay. I also had a chance to go inside it and look at all those things. I was really amazed and it was really jaw dropping. From then on, I started developing a craze for these warships. It is really common for ships being used in transport and commercial services. To talk about commercial services, we must have definitely heard or read about Ever Given, the huge cargo ship which blocked the Suez Canal all by itself due to some tactical issues. Thank God it is now rectified and moved from that place. Otherwise, it would have pushed the whole world into economic crisis. Because we all know the importance of Suez Canal, it is very crucial for economic activity in this world. Apart from all this transport and commercial services, there is one more inevitable function for ships, that is to engage in the process of defending countries. It is totally accepted that ships can be used as a pleasurable mode of transport and commercial activities. But they can also be made to fight for countries. Before moving into the list of warships ever built in this world, I would like to talk about the types of different warships being used now. Destroyers Fast and highly maneuverable warships. They especially focus on launching torpedoes. Battleships Large heavily armored warships equipped mainly with powerful guns. Aircraft carriers A warship primarily armed with carrier-based aircraft. Battle cruisers a ship with battleship level armament and cruiser level armor. Cruiser A fast independent warship. Traditionally, cruisers were the smallest warships capable of independent action. Man of War A British Navy expression for a sailing warship. Submarines A ship capable of remaining underwater for extended periods and also focus on launching torpedoes. Now let's move into the list of different and strongest warships ever built in this world and tiny pieces of information about them. HMS Victory What? Looks very old. Is it really strong? Never underestimate this ship. It is one of the well-known warships of all time. It was built and used by the British Navy. And also it was the flagship of the British Navy. Flagship is nothing but a leading ship in the Navy. Just like a CEO of a business, it is the head of all other ships. This ship had 104 guns, capable of carrying over 850 men, and it traveled at a speed of 20 kilometers. It is usually less because of the massive size of the ship. This ship had many services in the wars of Gibraltar, Ushant and Trafalgar. So where is this ship now or is it still being used? No, not really. Now it is a museum which is open to public which is located in Portsmouth, England. And by now it would have been approximately 250 years old. Bismarck Bismarck was the biggest ever battleship ever to be built by Germany till now. In the earlier times, it was a very fearsome ship with almost 66 guns on either sides. So that makes it a total of 122 guns. However, this ship was not much of a hero or it didn't do many wonders. It was sunk by the British Navy by completely firing continuously with all the ammunition they had till the ship was completely down. In spite of the Captain Hans Oels of this ship ordered everyone to abandon the ship, out of 2200 men, only 114 men survived. USS Missouri USS Missouri is a very famous battleship due to its history. Not even one single American citizen would forget its name and fame. Because this ship is the main reason behind America winning the World War II, defeating Japan. Exactly in 1945. Apart from the Second World War, this ship had served in many battles like the Korean War and Gulf War in the 1980s and 1990s. This ship had over 158 guns. One special thing about these guns are that they are so powerful that they would push the water in the ocean when they are firing. Look at this piece of video, you can see the water actually moving in front. So imagine the level of damage that these guns could do to other ships. This ship also appeared in two of the Hollywood movies, Under Siege and Battleship. 
it was not CGI, it was not uh, graphics, it was the actual USS Missouri. It can also be called as Mighty Mo. To know more information about how this ship was used in these movies, you can visit the link down below in my description. HMS Hood As we had seen earlier in this video, this was a ship used by the Britain Navy to sink Bismarck, the German battleship. For almost 20 years, HMS Hood was the largest and the most powerful ship in the world. This ship usually carried lesser ammo than other great ships and it was not very active after it sank Bismarck. However, HMS Hood was destroyed in the same battle by the, in the Battle of Denmark. Battleship Yamato During the 1940s when Yamato was launched, it was the world's heaviest and powerfully armed ship. To talk about its weight, it weighed nearly 65,000 tons. It had only 9 main guns but it was very capable of giving a tough fight to its competitors. One special thing about Battleship Yamato is that, it was very strong in terms of taking damage. During the Battle of Sibuyan Sea, it was struck down by two bombs by an American aircraft and took on 3,370 tons of water inside it. But surprisingly, it survived. That is really amazing. However, it was sunk during a battle in 1945 after serious damage. Wait a minute, what about India? We have spoken all about those foreign countries and foreign ships. But what about India? Definitely we have powerful warships. INS Mysore INS Mysore was launched in 1957 and made outstanding contributions during the Western Fleet operations. INS Vikrant Also known as Indigenous Aircraft Carrier 1, it was the first ever aircraft carrier ship to be built by India. The name Vikrant means courageous and the motto of this ship is Jayama Sam Yuddhis Pradha which means I defeat those who fight against me. INS Chakra and INS Aryanth these two are extremely powerful attack submarines which are capable of rendering a very serious competition to enemy ships. INS Vikramaditya Vikramaditya means brave as the sun. It was launched in 2013 and now it is the mighty flagship of the Indian Navy being an aircraft carrier. It can carry more than 30 aircraft at once and also has amazing powerful sensors, command and control facilities. So ladies and gentlemen, you must have heard a great deal of information about all these warships, the different types of warships and the list of warships ever built in this world. As of India, warships have a very peculiar feature. During the 10th and 11th century AD, warships were also one of the reasons behind the flourishment of Chola Kingdom. Apart from all these warships and all those kind of information, I would like to give my side of opinion. It is really necessary for a country to have all those defense powers. But war is not the solution for any kind of problem in this world. It is only gonna make a problem bigger and not gonna solve it. At every point in our lives, humanity is the one which we actually need. Helping each other in whatever ways possible will always stand forever. Just imagine, in this pandemic situation, what would happen if countries were keeping all those vaccines for themselves and not sharing them with all other countries? So, all these defense systems are merely used as a security in all nations. So, it doesn't mean that one country has to prove through war that they are powerful by one another countries. I hope this video was very useful for you. You must have learned new things about different warships and the types of warships being used. So that's it for today guys. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, share it with everyone and drop your comments down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for new videos every week. Until next time, keep learning, keep growing. I'll see you then. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel.